internet and see me wearing it, you know? I, like, I was looking at what was going on this week, and I'm like, a steampunk ball? How cool! So I'm digging the costumes, everybody. Very nice. And we're continuing on with number 33, a J. Lee Mudd, a steampunk costume. Motor transport driver for J. Lee Mudd provides rapid, professional, and discreet conveyance for persons or goods with no invasive inquiries. Mr. Mudd is licensed in all 46 states and U.S. territories to provide safe and reliable transport. One half payment required in advance, if you would please. J. Lee Mudd, number 33, everybody. Number 34, Christy Lee and Sean Sullivan, Galax Galaxy Express 999. Comes now. The Detective of Galaxy Express 999. Their costumes were the creation of H.K. Enoch, who employed her resourceful skills using raw materials and ambiguous improvisation. Galaxy Express, Galaxy Express 999 is a, cons is a continuation of the Captain Harlock saga, created by Lijai Masumoto of Japan, a legendary artist who is credited with the creation of Captain Harlock and the Battleship Yamamoto series. Uh, commonly distributed to U.S. audiences as Star Blazers. I'm just taking a turn around so the judges back here can see what fine work you've done on the front of those costumes. Very nice. Number, number 34, Christy Lee and Sean Sullivan. Let's give it up for them one more time. Galaxy Express 999. For, the, for those of you who are fans of Inglorious Bastards, Galaxy Express 999. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, oh my god, I didn't... I'm totally sorry, you know, I was like, this one I'll hit, because I don't come back. We don't hit top hats unless they're designed for that. By the way, if anybody has one of those crushable ones, I've never done that before, that would be so cool. I just went... <laughs> you know, how cool is that? That would be fun. I'm ready for the opera. Number 35, Captain Jack Harkness from Torchwood. We have something to observe the strange goings on here at this convention. He is hunting aliens and requisitioning strange and delicious technology that may have escaped from the rift. Leader of Torchwood 3, here is Captain Jack Harkness. Very nice. 
Just a heck of a take. This is Todd Racing. I'm kidding. No, dude, you're awesome. Stay like that. You're awesome. Very nice. I'll give you the unbloody side. Awesome. Once again, this is father and son, Jason Waldrop, as Qui-Gon Jinn and Anakin Skywalker! First transforms are very, very dangerous. Nice. So, who here has ever been in a blockbuster video and some mother is running around going, Anakin, don't climb on that. Anakin, get down. I kid you not, I was there, and I'm just shaking my head. Great, great, because of course, it's not going to occur to anybody at school to call him Annie. Nice. Oh, you all saw Robot Chicken. What's she laughing at? Well, now you really are a little orphan Annie. I didn't write it, Seth Green did it. You guys, it's so funny. Sorry. Pardon me. Can we get a picture? Number 38, Exploding Flower Productions. Ora Orochimaru? Orochimaru? What he said! And it's. Very nicely done. Leaf and sound clash once again as Orichimaru and Tsunade meet face to face. Come on, I got really close that time. Don't bust my balls, man. Don't bust my balls. I told you at the beginning of the show I was going to do it wrong. I warned you. I told you. I like set up. Number 39. Jerry Tut, who before the show started was only nine months old, but now he's seven years old. Waldo done travel back in time to his earliest childhood to relive his beginnings. Finally, the ground on stage. Like, I need to say more. scaring the baby. <laughs> if you ever wanted to see at what point in a human being's life they can actually give you the look of, what the frick? <laughs> that kid had it. It was like a nine months old. Sorry, 41. Oh, Keith King and David Petty. Oh, that one I was able to read easy. Sand Troopers from Star Wars. 
some of us are so old, we don't call it a new hope. It was Star Wars. There's only one Star Wars. Amen, so. And here in front of it, TD8290, which represents the original Stormtrooper by George Lucas in Star Wars. I'm going to steal a line here. You know what line I'm going to use? What? No. Aren't you a little short to be a Stormtrooper? I'm sorry I'm not as cute as Carrie Fisher. I really, I, but you are armed. <laughs> Alrighty, gentlemen, very nicely done. Let's hear it for Stormtroopers from the original Star Wars. So that judges, that was 41. Judges, that was 41, okay? Now this is 40. Is this like in Klingo knees? Oh my lord. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop. Stop it! Stop it! Stop! I gotta tell you a quick story. I worked on a video game called Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Oh, thank you. In which I played a hut. Mato Uto Uto Solo. So I get in there, and they don't tell you what you're gonna play. You get hired, and you go in, um, and I got a sheet of paper that was written in a completely foreign language. <laughs> and I'm sitting there going, oh, you're kidding me, right? <laughs> My job. And the director says to me, he goes, Neil, don't worry about it. It's not Star Trek. because none of the Star Wars fans take it that seriously. <laughs> now, I'm not saying anything, because quite frankly, there was a linguist that actually created the Klingon language, so I think people learning it, it's learning another language, it's exercising your brain. But, sure enough, you know, if I was doing that, and like said, Mahta, there would be somebody going, it's Mahta. <laughs> Now, in the new Star Wars, The Old Republic, I did the same thing with like three different languages. Let me tell you, I wasn't gray before that recording session. <laughs> oh, berserk! This time, guys! <laughs> Austria Hungarian, this is like English and I can't read it. Luftisch <laughs> native contingent. Also, oh, berserk! This time, guys! <laughs> I'm hoping that's a good thing. <laughs> I don't know what the problem is. You Terrence, give me this. Shoot six times. You need your bullets. No, 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 no. You get one of these disruption pistols and shoot 60 times. You click a button and shoot 60 more. It's better. <laughs>
number 43, Chris Duke. Yeah, you're 